Mechanical, membrane, optical. These are the three keyboards that are mainly used in the PC community. But which one will work for you? This is a question plagued by many PC users. Nah, maybe not plague, but it is something for you to know about, and your boy Chekavelli is here to keep you in the know. Okay, so as you guys know, I just recently got my first ever mechanical keyboard, and what an experience that was. But then I got a little deeper into it, learning about all the other keyboards that there are. And yes, there's really just about only three. Mechanical, membrane, and optical keyboards. There's also a few other you know, si you know, sidebar keyboards like Razer's Mecha Membrane keyboard or an ergonomic keyboards and just a lot of different types of keyboards. But really it just always comes down to mechanical, membrane, and optical. The main differences we'll be discussing concerning these keyboards are pricing, feel, durability, sound, customization, and precision. Let's start with pricing. By far, membranes are the cheapest of the three. Why? Because they're the cheapest to make. Typically, what membrane keyboards are made out of are combinations of plastic, polyester, silicone, and rubber. What happens is that when a key is pressed, it pushes the top layer down through a spacer layer of holes and makes contact with the circuit at the bottom. Now that may sound a little confusing, but basically in layman's terms, all that happens is that when a key cap presses down, it then presses on the rubber, which will then press on the electrical conductive ink, which will signal throughout the keyboard which key is getting pressed. Then it tells the computer to display that key press. After which, when you release, the rubber will pop back up and then you'll be reset. Whereas mechanical and optical keyboards work much differently. Mechanical switches have an actual metal switch that works a little bit like a button or a lever. So when you press it, that's when the key gets registered. And when you release it, that's when the key gets stopped registering. There's no middleman, unlike with membrane keyboards that require that little rubber to pop back up, kind of like a bubble. Which makes it so that with mechanical keyboards, the accuracy, feel, precision, and speed of a key press is completely in your control. The faster you can click it, the faster it gets registered. As for optical keyboards, they look and feel just like mechanical keyboards, but they do operate differently. With optical keyboards, they use light induction to trigger the switches. When a switch is pressed, it blocks a light beam that is emitted in the PCB. And when this light beam is blocked, the actual key is registered. And when you lift up from the key and the light beam is no longer blocked, the key will stop being registered, which tends to make it a very fast keyboard, literally making the keyboard as fast as the speed of light. In comparison with mechanical keyboards, even though mechanical keyboards are 100% in your control, the problem is that when you press down on a keycap in a mechanical keyboard, for it to fully stop registering, the keycap needs to lift up a certain distance from the keyboard for it to stop registering. Whereas optical switches don't have that problem. Whether it's a millimeter off the keyboard or 10 meters off the keyboard, doesn't matter. Once light is in, it stops. If light is out, it goes. It's that simple. So now that you understand what makes up these keyboards, you could also probably imagine which ones are more expensive. Membrane keyboards tend to be much cheaper because there's just not, they're not that hard to make. You just need some rubber, some plastic, some conductive ink, and then boom, you have a membrane keyboard. And because that's all that it really takes, the membrane keyboard industry has pretty much peaked, which means that they can focus on being able to make these keyboards at a cheaper price, thus making them more affordable for the everyday consumer. Whereas mechanical keyboards, are still getting better and that makes it a little trickier when it comes to pricing because every key is you know individually created and it uses metal parts that tends to jump up the price for mechanical keyboards because making these keyboards are not easy at all but then you have optical keyboards that are at the highest part of this rung because optical keyboards require the same metal and physical switches that mechanical keyboards require. But then on top of that, it requires light inductions and triggers and, you know, beams and all these different sensitivities to make it work even better than a mechanical keyboard. So optical keyboards are much more expensive. To put a little bit more perspective on this, you can get a good membrane keyboard for less than $10. Whereas mechanical keyboards, a good mechanical keyboard, it really starts at $50 and gets all, you know hundreds of dollars higher. Then a good optical keyboard, and technically speaking, if you're getting an optical keyboard, there really isn't such a thing as a bad optical keyboard, but a good optical keyboard will start at the 100s and only get higher. So that's how the pricing works for these three 
keyboards. Now as for feel, membrane keyboards tend to feel a lot more mushy and spongy because of that silicone rubber components that the keyboard is made out of. Whereas mechanical keyboards and optical keyboards tend to have a much more physical feedback, something that's much more delightful to press on. You see right here is the keyboard that I used in the video. And when you press on them, there's actually a response. There's, it, you, you know that you press the keyboard and depending on how sensitive you really are, you can actually know which key that you press. That's how that's how customizable these mechanical keyboards can really get, um, along with optical keyboards. They're pretty much one and the same, though some argue that mechanical keyboards are a little better feeling than optical keyboards, but the, the feeling is so minuscule, you really wouldn't notice the difference. But both mechanical and optical keyboards feel way better than membrane keyboards. A membrane keyboard, it's just a sponge, now, at the end of the day, the feel is preferential. Uh, there are people, especially office workers, that may like membrane keyboards way more than any mechanical one because mechanical ones do require a little bit more force and you may want something that's a little easier to use, which would be a membrane keyboard. But if you're a person who's more, more aggressive and like everything else, then you might enjoy a mechanical keyboard. Now let's talk about sound. In office spaces, membrane keyboards are the go-to keyboard because they're pretty silent. You might hear a bunch of keyboards when you walk into an office, but you can't even imagine how loud an office would sound if, every, if all of them were using mechanical keyboards. You take a hundred membrane keyboards, you get a lot of, which is something to hear. But if you had mechanical keyboards, you get more of this. much louder. Now when you exponentialize it, you can see how certain things can be really annoying. But if you're a more asmr kind of person and you really enjoy the sound, mechanical keyboards are the way to go, optical keyboards are the way to go, there's just no debating it. But mechanical keyboards are much more customizable. So mechanical keyboards, you can adjust the sound, you can adjust the pitch, the, these are all things that Especially if you're a new keyboard enthusiast, it probably is hard to imagine, but yes, you can do all these different things so that the sound of a mechanical keyboard can make it sound much better. It can sound, it can go from this. To this. Crazy, right? As for optical keyboards, they're not nearly as customizable as mechanical keyboards, mainly because their parts are a lot more expensive and a lot more rare. So if you do get an optical keyboard, I mean, good luck really trying to have any fun customizing it. I mean, understand this, mechanical keyboards are hard to customize. Getting your hands on keycaps, switches, cases, lubes, PCBs, that stuff is already very hard to get for mechanical keyboards and it only gets 10 times harder with optical keyboards. So yeah, if, if customization is your thing, you should really leave optical keyboards alone. And as for membrane, I mean, you're not gonna, you're not gonna be able to customize a membrane keyboard. Maybe a mecha membrane, but not a membrane keyboard. I mean, some people still do it, but it's, 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 it is, you're not, it's not it. Like, don't waste your time. I would really, I, I'm begging you, don't waste your time trying to customize a membrane keyboard. Unless you're gonna do it for YouTube video views, and if that's the case, that is a clickable video, and then send me the link. I would love to watch it. As for durability, mechanical keyboards win hands down. Because of their ease of customization and fixing and tweaking, you know, if you drop the mechanical keyboard, you can always fix it, buy the new parts, exchange things, replace them. You can, you can have a mechanical keyboard for decades and it can still feel just as good as its first year so long as you maintain it. Whereas a membrane keyboard, it, I mean, there's no customizing it. There's no fixing it. it it's, it's made out of spongy material. You know, it's, once that thing starts to wear away, it's, you can throw, you can pretty much throw it out. Like it's, it's not gonna do much. Now understand that keyboards are built to last. Membrane keyboards being the cheapest and the least durable of them still are supposed to last at least five million keystrokes 
per key. So it would take years before you really wear down a keyboard, especially if it was by yourself. Maybe if you had like a family keyboard, you guys might be able to get to that 5 million keystroke and more within with much less time than the average person who's living on their own. But keyboards are really built to last. So whether you go with membrane, mechanical or optical, you really wouldn't need to buy a keyboard again for years, truthfully speaking. Unless of course your profession required intense keyboard activity, you will be fine. Now as for precision, no keyboard is beating optical switches. They're literally as fast as light. The moment the light is blocked on the key cap, the key will actuate. Then once light comes back, the key will deactuate. It's really that fast. Whereas with mechanical keyboards, though the switch will actuate once you press it down there is a five millisecond debounce delay which optical switches don't have in fact switch and click found that razor optical switches actuate 30 milliseconds faster than normal mechanical switches which would make them by far the fastest keyboard out here i don't really want to talk too much about membrane because if you haven't gotten the point so far then i don't really know what's going on with you Membranes are, they're, they're, they're made out of rubber. You see with membrane keyboards, the speed of the key registration is dependent on how fast the rubber can bounce back. So the more you use a membrane keyboard, the rubber will be less responsive, which means that it won't bounce back as quickly. That's how you get sticky keys. The, the, it, the rubber might just stay down for a little bit and then slowly come back. Then when you press it again, it'll slowly come back. And so as a result, it causes a large, very serious delay after probably only maybe a few months of use, you'll start to notice the difference. So in short, once that silicone goes, so does your performance. Also, membrane keyboards have a problem with key rollover, basically meaning that if you press a key many times very quickly on a membrane keyboard, you'll find that many of those presses won't actually get registered because the rubber didn't pop back up to restart the key press. You won't have these issues with a mechanical or an optical switch keyboard. So overall, which keyboard should you use? Well, it just depends on who you are, what you're doing, and why you need it. If you're an office worker who's just trying to chill out and get work done and then, you know, have dinner at the end of the day, just get yourself a membrane keyboard. For less than $10, you can get a keyboard that will literally last you years probably upwards of five even the, even when the material starts to degrade the keyboard will more or less still be very usable my family's keyboard is a keyboard that we've had for almost a decade now and i have a big family so there's like get the keyboard that's going to work for the situation that you that you need now if you're maybe a professional gamer or a professional typer or maybe an enthusiast you might want a mechanical keyboard just because not only will it feel more fun You'll look cooler, you'll feel cooler, your performance will be better because it'll be a faster response time, and you'll also be able to adjust and customize and fix the keyboard whenever things are having a problem. So uh, you could so you could turn a keyboard that maybe was only gonna have a 10-year lifespan into a lifetime lifespan of a keyboard. Now for optical keyboards, honestly, if you aren't a gamer, then I don't recommend optical keyboards. They're just they're just way too expensive and they come with what they're what they're giving you is some heavy duty stuff that really only a gamer would need. I mean, what do you need 30 extra milliseconds of response time for? I mean, I don't know. People can find a way, people always do. But I don't know. It really depends on what your pockets are looking like. Like a good optical keyboard is going to be like $150, you know, like and you're not going to have nearly as much fun customizing it because parts are rare for optical keyboards. So that's something you got to remember. It's a little tricky. So it does come down to you. As for me, I got myself a membrane keyboard. I got myself a mechanical keyboard and I got myself a mecha membrane keyboard. So I'm living life. And I hope you live in yours. Chuckavelli came in, gave you some knowledge, and now Chuckavelli is leaving the building. Have a great day, guys. Love ya.